Chapter Three: Power Struggle. 続いてのニュースです。来年度、民事党が衆議院での通過を目指している沖縄米軍基地拡大法案のキーマン、タミヤ流造防衛大臣と同時に開発が進められているリゾート開発の責任者、鈴木義信国土交通大臣が今日揃って現地沖縄へ視察に訪れました。日本防衛の鍵とも言われる弾道ミサイル防衛システム通称新 BMD システムの導入を目指すタミヤ氏一方これまで沖縄米軍基地拡大法案に一貫して反対する立場を取りながら沖縄の内需拡大のためリゾートの開発を推し進めてきた鈴木氏意見の異なる両大臣揃っての沖縄訪問に政財界からの注目が集まっています神谷氏の現地到着に先駆け空港前には基地の拡大に反対する市民が大勢詰めかけ範囲を示すビラを配るなどする一方鈴木氏はリゾート開発による内需拡大を支持する地域財界関係者に迎えられ開発候補地の視察へと向かいました神谷氏の米軍基地拡大法案鈴木氏のリゾート開発ともに現地でも意見が割れており法案成立に向け両大臣とも各方面との調整が必要と思われます確かに BMD の導入は今の日本にとっては重要なことですしかしこれ以上沖縄に日本防衛のための犠牲を払わせるわけにはいきませんそれを少しでも軽減するためにも内需拡大を見据えてリゾートを開発することでなんとか地域の振興に貢献していきたいとそう考えているわけです国を守ることは私の責務だそれ以上言うことはない空港到着後インタビューに応じた鈴木氏とは対照的にタミヤ氏は足早に車に乗り込み現地の視察へと向かいました突然の両大臣の沖縄訪問に野党からは鈴木氏の沖縄リゾート開発にタミヤ氏が便乗する形で強引に米軍基地拡大法案を進めようとしているのではないかと疑問の声が上がっています地元の住民の反応はどうなんでしょうか基地がまた拡大するのは嫌だけどリゾートで沖縄が潤んだったらまあいいのかなってお隣の国がミサイルを撃つっつったって沖縄じゃなくて東京とかを狙うわけでしょタミヤさんはさ結局沖縄のことなんか考えてないんだよ次期総裁候補として呼び声の高い鈴木タミヤ両氏の沖縄での行動に今後も注目が集まります続いてのニュースです、oh, I wanted the other news. How will I know what's going on? 今のニュースここの立ち退きの話なのかな Where do we go from here? Now loading apparently is where we go. You talked to those guys in the truck, right? How'd it go? They wanted to buy us out, but I turned them down. Somehow I doubt that's the end of it, though. Oh. Uncle Kaz? Are we gonna have to leave Okinawa? Don't worry, Haruka. I'm not gonna let that happen. All the dots. Trust me. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I believe you. Right then. Oh, I almost forgot. What's up? Well, it's probably nothing. But Shiro's been kind of down since, we got her,、uh, since he got home from school. Wonder why. Did you ask him what's wrong?、Mm. Yeah, but it didn't seem like he wanted to talk to me. Hmm, okay. I'll give it a shot. Thanks for letting me know. Time to find Shiro. Are you Shiro? Who's Shiro? Who's Shiro? Is it gonna be the beach again? Are you Shiro? Why do I just want to know what this box is? Hey, what's the box? It's like something's washed ashore. Wooden box is washed ashore. Take the wooden box. Take it. What is it? There's a worm in the box. You got a worm. Alright then. 
Got myself a worm. Hey, share it with you two. Yeah. Tai Chi bomb. Oh, don't hit so hard, Tai Chi. Hmm, <laughs> there's more where that came from. Tai Chi explosion. I asked you a question, Tai Chi. Come on, Uncle Kaz, can't you see we're busy here? Just take a break for one second. Do either of you know where Shiro is? Uh, maybe in our room? I asked if he wanted to play with us, but he said no. Tai Chi blast. Ain't no fair, I wasn't ready. I'm glad you kids are full of energy. Just... Try not to get hurt, okay? We'll be careful. You're never careful. Guess I'll take a look inside. Alright. I was expecting everything like that to be... Wait, is this, this, this entire road called Morning Glory Road? Like, really? What Morning Glory Road? Oh, hello. That looks like it might be him. Ooh, well, we got uh, some duckies, some bears, copy of Woo Baby, some Mishies, you know, the usual stuff, the usual stuff. Hey there, Shiro. Everything okay? I'm fine. You don't look fine. Everyone else is having fun outside, but you're sitting in here all by yourself. Are you sure you're okay? Just leave me alone. All the dots. Hmm. Something happened at school? No. All the dots. This does have to do with a girl. What do you mean? Well, you're at the age that boys start... That's not it. Just leave me alone, okay? Guess I was wrong. All the dots. Alright, stomach. Does your stomach hurt? Not really. Hmm. Doesn't look like he wants to talk. Maybe the other kids would know something. Oh, god damn it! I should have started there, then. Right, well, you other kids know about this situation. Ayako. What's up, Uncle Kaz? Is this about Shiro? Yeah, something's definitely up. Do you know if he's having trouble at school, or a girl, or his stomach? I'm not sure. We're not in the same grade. Have you heard anything, Izumi-chan? Um, no. We're in different classes, so... Right. I'm gonna try asking him. Nah, it's okay. If he's gonna open up to anyone, it'd probably be another guy. I'll give it another shot. You give it another shot? Okay. I think that's a bad idea, but alright. Are you sure you're feeling alright, Shiro? Said I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Why don't you listen? Just leave me alone. All the dots. Is this about a girl? Your stomach? Or the school? It's one of the three. Tell me which. I'll go beat it up. You'll beat up the school? Yes. Hey, something's up with Shiro. You two know if anything happened at school? I don't. We barely even see each other most days. What about you, Riona? Same. He's in a way lower grade than me. So our classes are really far away. Sorry. It's alright. Want me to figure out what's wrong, Uncle Cass? How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Easy, I'll just put him in a headlock. That'll get him talking in no time. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. I bet I could take him too. Come on, you two. You should be looking out for Shiro. Not trying to beat him up. That's what being an older sibling is all about. Thought you knew better. Oh dear. Never mind, I'll do it. And keep your hands to yourselves, Koji. You're just gonna make things worse. Alright. What's the shiny? Something on the ground. Take the worm! Take with a worm! Against so many worms. Lovely, lovely worms. What I need them for is probably fishing, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. Can I not go there? Oh, such a waste. Such a waste. Right, you two, what's going on? Taichi Mitsuo? Not now, Uncle Kaz. I was just about to go in for the body slam. Give the games a rest and listen. Alright, what's up? It's about Shiro. Wait, he wasn't in our room? 
He was, but he won't talk to me. He's just sitting curled up in the corner. <sighs> yeah, he's been doing that a lot lately. What? Why? Depression. Probably because he's been getting bullied. Bullied? How do you know? I found him crying in the boys' room at school a couple of weeks ago, so I asked him what was wrong. Why did you not tell, tell, tell Kazuma Kiryu here sooner? And that's when he told you about the bullying. Yeah. Hmm. It gets been getting worse, though. What makes you say that? Well, I thought it'd be funny to barge in on him when he was taking a bath, but he had bruises all over his body. <sighs> he doesn't do sports and nothing, so he wouldn't have gotten them from that. Why did you not tell Kiryu sooner? Did you tell a teacher? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. The bullying always gets worse if you tell. Ah. Besides, I've heard enough. I'll talk to the teacher myself. Wait, Uncle Kaz? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Hello, teacher. This is Kiryu. Ryu Kyu Elementary, Hashimoto speaking. Hi there, my name is Kiryu from Morning Glory and... The orphanage, right? You must be the guardian for all those poor kids. And who are you, exactly? Oh, just one of the teachers here at the school. Perfect. I'm actually calling about one of my kids, Shiro. Can I speak with his teacher? That would be me. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have reason to believe he's been getting bullied. Bullied? What evidence do you have of that, hmm? Is this some kind of joke? Trust me, I'm not the joking type. Plus, why are you so defensive? Shiro's holed up in his room right now, not talking to anyone. Apparently, there have been bruises on his body, too. I assure you, there is no chance such awful behavior would take place at our school. What about the other orphans? Who knows what those kids of yours get up to without parents around to keep them in check? What did you say? Honestly, I'm sick and tired of all these nervous parents whining to me about their children. Raising them is your responsibility, not mine. I suppose your case may be a lost cause. Goodbye, Kiryu-san. Beep, beep, beep. I'm going to demolish him. What was his problem? Uncle Kaz? Don't worry, Chachi. I'm going to make sure this never happens again. But... It's okay. I'll get Shiro to talk. How? How are you going to talk? And I've got that worrying feeling of like, it's not the teacher that's bullying him, is it? Please tell me that isn't the case. Shiro. I want you to tell me what happened. You can trust me, Shiro. Please. All I want is for you to be happy. You and everyone else here. I'm not going to just stand around and do nothing when you're so clearly in need of help. Come on, just tell me what's going on. Is someone bullying you? Good kid, good kid. Alright, I'll go have a talk with your school. You can't. Why not? I already spoke to your teacher, but he wasn't a whole lot of help. Shiro. Hmm. Hmm. To the school. Why doesn't Shiro want me going to his school? There has to be a reason. Hmm, maybe I could just cut out the middleman and talk to the bully's parents directly. I actually seems to know a lot about what's been going on. He might be able to point me in the right direction. It's it's gonna be the like, oh there he is. It's like Tai Chi. Oh, Uncle Kaz. Don't tell anyone about this. But do you think you can find out who's been bullying Shiro for me? I already know. That's what I was trying to tell you before. Who is it? Mm. Some kid named Yoshinori. Yeah, right? But... But what? It's kind of complicated. Yoshinori's the son of Shiro's teacher. Hashimoto. Yeah, I was suspecting that's where it was going. It's like, I don't feel like it's going to be the teacher, but it's going to be that it's his kid, yeah. <laughs> what? Are you sure? Hashimoto would be in big trouble if he admitted his own son was a bully. So I don't know if he'll ever fess up. Well, now I really need to get involved. I better check with Shiro again to make sure. Uncle Kaz. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sort this mess out. Just you wait. 
Just you wait. Shadow Taichi told me about what's been going on. Has the teacher's son really been bullying you? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Please, Shadow. I need you to talk to me. But Yoshinori, he said... He said his dad plays golf with Akasaka Sensei from the city council. That I'd get them to shut Morning Glory down if I tattled on him. Guess the apple doesn't fall from, from the tree. Uh. It's okay, Shiro. Don't cry. I'm not crying. I'm just frustrated. I can <laughs> fully appreciate that, mate. Yoshinori only picks up, picks on kids when he knows they're not going to fight back. It's not right. Don't worry. Morning Glory's not going anywhere. Uh. I promise. So the next time he tries to mess with you, I want you to stand up for yourself. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd love to see that. Like, the next day. I, w I would love to see this happen. I figured out why she... So, so sh 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 Shadow so down. But that's not enough. I've got to fix this somehow. To the school. I'm going to go beat up that school. Everything okay, Kiryu-san? You look kind of worried. Hi there, Miyara-san. Turns out Shiro's been getting bullied at school. What? Who, who would go after so, a, a sweet kid like Shiro-kun? I'd like to give them a piece of my mind. Well, it's a kid named Yoshinori, but his dad's the real problem. Apparently he's pretty tight with Akasaka-sensei. I mean, if I don't go about this the right way... They'll get city council to come shut my orphanage down. Really? That doesn't seem like the Ak Akasaka-san I know. Wait, you know him? Of course. He's famous around these parts. Well, as famous as a city councilman can be. Anyway, he's definitely the honest type, not the kind of guy to use his position to settle grudges. Why don't you go talk to him? He loves chatting with his constituents. So I'm sure he'll be willing. Hmm, I don't feel like it's going to be that simple. Even so, I can't just go marching into the city hall over this. Maybe if there's, there was somewhere else I could uh, run into him. Like what, a, a game? Like a, a football game? Why don't you try the golf course? Oh, the golf course. Why the golf course? That's where he spends most of his free time. They say he wouldn't be caught dead without his trusty set of clubs. Apparently he loves it so much he forgets to eat sometimes. But golf balls can't fill an empty stomach, you know. Have you tried? Huh. Wonder how even he finds time to work. Second that, Kiryu-san. Anyway, the monorail's the best way there. Just get off at Golf Course Station and you're golden. Is Golf Course Station a real station? Someone let me know. Thanks a ton, Miyara-san. Time to go find out if those rumors are true. Alright, let's go over and get... Ourselves towards the golf, golf, what was it, what, what, golf club station, golf, golf course station? Crazy golf station? You now take a taxi or monorail trip to the golf course. Better go find Akasaka at the golf course. Guess this is the monorail, right? Where do you want to go? Golf course station! We not get to see the monorail? I'm just here. Just boom, I'm here, it's very strange. Like, stuck camera position as well. Uh, no. So, stay here. That's weird. It's like the camera's in one position. Ugh. Welcome, sir. Are you a member of our club? Well, no. I, uh... Ah, so you're a visitor. Do you have a guest pass? Uh... My deepest apologies, sir. But this is a highly exclusive club for locust businessmen and government officials only. If you don't have an invitation from a current member, I'm going to ask, have to ask you to leave. I'm very sorry, sir. Damn it. How am I ever going to find Akasaki if I can't even get in the club? Oh, no. If you allow me to intrude. Hmm? I hear you, you don't have a guest pass. Yeah, I didn't realize this was a private club. In that case, why don't you join me for a couple of holes? Really? I was actually meant to meet a friend here, but seems he won't be showing up. Suppose he had some last-minute business to attend to. Are you him? 
I'm not too fond of playing by myself, though, so if you wouldn't mind joining me, I'd be glad to have you along. And who are you exactly? <laughs> ah, where are my manners? My name is Akasaka. I was going to say, this is Yakuza. We're going to run into the exact guy that we need to run into right away. You mean from the city council? Ooh. Ah, I take it you've heard of me. May I ask your name? It's Kiryu. Well then, Kiryu-san. Shall we play? Yeah, let's do it. We actually get to play. Talk about luck. It's the perfect chance for me to get closer to Akasaka. Please tell me we get to play. Yeah! So I'll just wing it, I'll wing it. I'll take the first shot, if you don't mind. And be my guest. Yeah, he's lining up the shot here. He's getting very into the game. He uses L1 and R1 to adjust the shot direction. Can't do that myself just yet. He's lining it up. Changing the clubs with R and uh, uh, just R in general, apparently. He's cycling through his clubs. He pressed triangle to change the shot range to half the distance, for some reason. And back again. He uses the D-pad to change the impact point. Some points will put a spin on the ball, you know. He held down the X to build the shot power. He forgot to press X to release... Uh, uh to, to... To release X to set the shot power. He got it right that time. After setting the power, press X just as the cursor is aligned with the ball to deliver the point of impact. Right, okay. I have a lovely shot there. On the fairway. Hey, you're pretty good. I'm not sure I'd go that far. The wind's just been blowing in my favour today, that's all. Do you golf often, can you, Sam? Not really, no. Ah, oh, well. Practice makes perfect. Right. What was it again? Because my headset died partway through that, so I had to change things, and everything sounds slightly weird now, because I had to go for a, a backup headset. Right, so, um... Trying to remember, like, yeah, that, that was aiming, wasn't it, over there? What, can I move the camera so I can see better? Okay, so what is it? Par 4. If it's par 4, I kind of do want to... Can you... Like, this camera moves after you've, like, looked somewhere. It's like, can you not? Yeah, you know, I'm thinking over there would be a good shout. Somewhere. Let's give it a bit... Give it a bit, 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 bit of top spin there. Okay, so... What's changing the golf clubs again? There we go. Yeah, let's get the putter out. That'll do it. Right, all the way over there, then. Right, so... Boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm taking Mulligan. Okay. That's... I mean, I hit it. It's, it's far too fast for me. That's the thing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, re I'll, I'll retake it. I'll retake it. <laughs> What hit me? Trying to figure out like the the hitting bit. It doesn't seem to respond the same way it's said. So me. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Uh, yeah, mulligan, please, so I can get the idea. I think it's in the mulligan. It's like it thinks I'm pressing X twice or something. funny that um okay there we go that's better bit better can i have a mulligan uh yeah i know what i'm doing now this is the thing i know what i'm doing now i know what i'm doing now okay sliced it uh yep yeah. i get i'm getting used to it all right i'm getting used to it it's fine it's fine um bit of top spin it's a bit better. Yeah, there we go. That way. I'm, uh, no, no, no. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. 
Um, you will stick with that. And I can see where we... Hmm. Okay, so we don't want full power. We want sort of there. Decently nice, decently nice. It's on the green, it's on the green. So I don't want to hit it off the... No, no. He's bodged it. He screwed it up. Oh, well, it's alright, I suppose. Hmm. Alright, so looking at the contours here. Kind of want to go that way a bit. Okay, so we're hoping it just, just, just comes down a bit nicely there. Whoa, that goes way faster than I expected. Can I take a mulligan on that? Yep. Way faster than I expected, so I like, just want to tap it, you know. Ah, uh, take a mulligan on that, take a mulligan on that. Okay, so I still want to go that way slightly. Ah, a bit too fast. Ooh, ooh it's, it's tricky this one, it's tricky. Yeah, take a mulligan, take a mulligan. Okay, again, just that slight tap there. Hmm, so it doesn't look, no, it look, looks fairly flat from based on what's been going on there, so. Well, now it, hmm. Take a mulligan, I'm going to get this in. I'm going to get this in just slightly. Yeah, hole in one. First time, every time. Right, hole in one. We'll go with that. Birdie! Pa. Yeah! Wow, kiddie, you son. Your form is fantastic. Oh, well, me? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no need to be modest. You're a natural. Shall we head to the next hole? Sounds good. Oh, lovely. I just want to make sure all my audio stuff is correct and working as intended right now. Because of the headset change, so be right back. Yep, we seem good, so next hole. Say, what sort of work do you do, Kiryu-san? I run an orphanage called Morning Glory. Well, taking care of all those children is quite a task. It's not easy, sure, but nothing makes me happier than seeing them smile. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm glad to know you're enjoying your work, Kiryu-san. And what vital work it is. Now let's get this hole started. Whoa! That's not bad. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done. I used to play golf games when I was a kid, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, the wind's sort of pulling slightly to the right, so we sort of want a little bit there. Looking at the club... I get the maximum power that would be good. Can get the can get in. Uh, just a bit too much, bit too much. I'm gonna take the mulligan. I it was good, good on the power, but it's like the power's just a bit too much for that then. So it's nice coming on down. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely, lovely. Uh, no, no, no. I'm happy with that. Seems fairly straight, fairly straight. Hmm. Uh, a bit too short, but it will take the mulligan, we'll take the mulligan. Hmm. Oh, we'll take the mulligan. That. It's, oh, it's just a bit too much, a bit too much. Right, come on. Hmm. Oh, come on. Take the mulligan, take the mulligan. That's got to be it, right? Yeah, first time, every time. Hold him one. Betty, one. Alright, we're on the same, we're on the same, we're on the same. Hooray! Speaking of the orphanage, can you, sir? How many kids do you have there? Nine, all in elementary school. And you take care of them all by yourself? Do you have any helpers? No, but the oldest girl, Huruka, takes on a lot of that responsibility. She'll be starting sixth grade next month. And the chores are all divided, but between all the kids, everyone has to help out. How wonderful. Too many kids these days sit around watching TV while their parents do all the work. Now, shall we head to the next hole? You know, I want to play. I want to play that entire golf game. It's just, just, a, just a full golf game. That's just in Yakuza. I want like nine holes at least. At least. As a professional, Kiryu-san, what are your thoughts on the youth of today? Well, things were definitely different. What's with your feet in the ground, guys? Definitely different when I was a kid. But with how drastically the world has changed, I guess that's not too much of a surprise. 
I'd say the real problem is that we spoon feed everything to kids nowadays. It's no room for imagination anymore. Back in my day, we'd come up with games we could all play together when we were bored. Since we had lots of kids of different ages, we had to make rules that were fair to everyone. We didn't want to exclude anyone just because of their age or ability. It was through those playground games that we first learned about cooperation and what it means to help others. These days, though, it's all about video games and the internet. From what I hear, most kids would rather stay in their rooms than go outside to play. True, we didn't have any of those luxuries when we were young. Children nowadays certainly have it good, but in a way, I feel sorry for them. Bullying seems to have grown more prevalent as well. I will admit it's always been present, but incidents appear to be even more malicious recently. Perhaps the children of today lack basic consideration for their fellow students. Looks like it, yeah. It's just two old men discussing things. It's nice. I like, I like this. This is so Yakuza in, in that way of like... It's just... It's just two old men playing golf discussing things. Basically. I know there's more to it. Now, can we get all that way? Like, he went there, but I'm thinking, can I get across that little bit of a river or brook? Or stream we've got there. Let's put a little little bit of top on it there. A little bit of top on it. Yeah, I didn't get it up there. Hmm. Bit of a slice. Bit too far. Well, I could get it. Oh, it okay, the mulligan. So just looking at things. The wind's blowing a bit that way. Hmm. That, that was not what I wanted to do. That was just... Just ignore that one. That's not, not even what I wanted to do. And let's put you there a bit. What's I'm forgetting to hold it down. It's, it's, it's my bad. I'm forgetting the whole hold it down bit. And... Da, da, da. Nice shot. It's a nice shot. Way too far. Way too far. Okay. Out of bounds. So let's bring that down there a bit. Let's, bring, let's actually bring it just straight. Just straight a bit. Nice shot. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's in the rough, but it's right next to the green, so I'm going to take it. Dukum. Dukum. All right. So if I'm lucky, if let the putters a no go, I just need to tap this. All right. We'll take that. We'll take that. Alright, so, a little bit that way, way too short, way too, way, way, yeah, it's like, no, 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 we'll take the mulligan on that, mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Okay, well, we'll take the mulligan, we'll take the mulligan, because I can get there, I can get there. What was that? Mm. Yes. Ooh! Yes. Hmm. Oh, it's just... Just want it in there. Yes, 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 yes. Just get it in there. That's what she hmm. said. There we go. Birdie. Hmm. First time every time. I'm a master of this game. What was that? Dunk. Bogey. Kiryu-san, I have another question about your children. If you don't mind, how do they spend their free time? Well, we don't have a computer or any games, so for the most part, they all play together outside. All the older kids really look after the younger ones, too. It's like we're one big family. That sounds lovely. Would it be alright if I paid you a visit sometime? Of course, uh, I'd be glad to have you. Uh, and I want to play another, I want another hole! I was enjoying that. <laughs> like, probably a bit too much. A bit too much. I mean, I get first every time, you know, but... <laughs> I have to thank you for the match, kiddie -san. Golf isn't much without an enjoyable conversation to go with it. I hope I'll have the chance to stop by your orphanage sometime soon. And I mean that sincerely. We'd love to have you. Perhaps there's even some way the city could support all the charitable work you do for those children. 
If you ever need anything, please feel free to give me a call. I'll do everything within my power to help you. I appreciate that. Akasaka. Son. Farewell now. See you later. Ah, and before I forget, I signed you up on my uh, permanent guest list, so you're free to visit the club whenever you please. Perhaps we'll even play again sometime? I hope so. I'd love to do some side questy stuff in this, but no. That's not the rules we set out for Yakuza 3. Akasaka, I think, had nothing but nice feeling uh, things to say about Morning Glory. I bet that'll make Shido feel better. Maybe? This is, this is a stretch, but watch it, mate. Watch it. Watch where you're going. Right, where am I going? Where do you want to go? We're shooting back to Morning Glory. I think all the sound levels are different on this headset. It's throwing me off. Now loading. Something's coming then. Hello, who are you and what are you doing here? Oh. Didn't recognize you without your golf attire. Oh, Akasaka-san. Good to see you again, Kiryu-san. Uh, I told you I'd stop by, didn't I? Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. I literally just got here after we played golf, so... <laughs> Once an idea crosses my mind, I simply have to see it through as soon as possible. Taichi in the house! Yo, Uncle Kaz! Hey, you forget to say hello to our guest. And take your shoes off before you go inside. Hi, Uncle Kath. We're home. That's good. Good you're home. You two have a good day at school? Mm-hmm. Oh, a guest. Konnichiwa. Hi, mister. Konnichiwa. Adorable. <laughs> Hello there, kids. Come on, Izumi-chan. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Such energetic kids. Tadaima. What the hell? その様子じゃ負けたか。ダム。次は絶対勝つ。元気な子供ですな。あれ、お客さん。ああ、挨拶しろ。初めまして、シロです。ほう、ちゃんと挨拶もしっかりできて気持ちのいい子だ。おい。
Yeah, they got home a while ago. Shiro too. Hope he's okay. Don't worry, Haruka. Shiro's gonna be just fine. Really? That's a relief. I was so worried when I heard he was getting bullied. But I'm glad everything's gonna be okay. Me too. Well, I better go get dinner started. Be careful with the knives. Well. Come on, give me it back. I will, just not yet. Sorry, Tai Chi. Sounds like Tai Chi and Yaka are up in arms over something. I better go take a look. Kids these days, hey, kidding you? Kids these days, they don't know when they were born. Just give me my money back. I don't have it right now. Can you wait until I get my allowance? That's not till next week. And the new Ninja Rangers manga comes out today. All the kids at school are going to read it before me. I'm sorry, Tai Chi. Oh, whatever. You better pay me back soon, liar face. Liar face, you say? What's this about you being a liar face? Why didn't you pay Tai Chi back, Ayaka? Did you lose the money? Or accidentally spend it? Um... Come on, this isn't like you. When you borrow something from someone, you have to make sure you give it back. But... I, um... Don't be afraid. You can tell me. Someone stole it. What? One of the other kids? Are you sure? Maybe it just fell out of your pocket. No, I keep all my money in my wallet inside my bag. So whoever stole it would have to know it was there. Keep looking at that light up top there. It's like, I haven't seen ring lights like that in ages. Very rare, very rare. Uh, all the dots. All right. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. No. Ayako, we have to find out what happened. But I'll go round up the others. Wait for me in the dining room. Okay. Do -do 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 his thumps on this head, like the thumps on the ground in this headset. So much louder. It's weird. Hey, can you two go to the dining room for me? Uh -huh. What's wrong, Uncle Cass? Nothing, really. We just need to have a family discussion about something. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Did something happen? I'll tell you later. See you girls in the dining room. Uh -huh. Okay. Right, what we got going on? There's the kids down here having a little jaunt. Koji? Oh? Uncle Kaz? What's up? Can you three go and wait for me in the dining room? Oh? Isn't it kind of early for dinner? We're going to have a house meeting. Why? What happened? You'll know soon enough. Just go wait for me, okay? Alright. Come on. Good kids, good kids. Don't really question it, they're just like, okay, let's sort that out. What's this sort of like, ball looking thing over here though, I saw it. Is it a coconut, or is it a ball? Something else. Like, what is that? Is it a coconut? Someone let me know, what is that? There's that box again with the worms in it. Lovely box of worms. Alright, so who else do we need to pick up? You there. Like, come on mate, come on. Tai Chi? Ah. Uncle Kaz, you, you gotta help. Gave Ayako some money, but she's not giving it back. I know, I heard you two arguing earlier. Then why won't you do something? I am. Oh, go wait in the dining room. All of us are gonna have a talk about what's going on here. What do you mean? Looks like someone stole the money from Ayako. Uh. Huh? Like someone here? I'm not sure yet. That's why I want to have this meeting. Just wait for me in the dining room, okay? Yeah, uh, okay. He's a good kid, he's a good kid. They're all good kids in their own way. Like, he's bringing them up right, he is, he really is. Is that everyone though? Who am I missing? Two around somewhere. It's funny with the noises. Not get out of the back? 
something about there's something very nice about that noise. Oh, I missed the noise. It was there when I needed it most. Well, they're not down here. Where are they then? Not some other part of the beach I've never been to, is there? There not just be like a box of worms around here or I'm going to be severely disappointed. I don't have time for worms. I'm not go- I see you flashing, I'm not going fishing. I'll never get over that trauma. Never. Never. Can you imagine the Persona 5 Strikers if that was my trauma? What a jail would I have? Such a pretty day. <laughs> there we are. What's up, Uncle Kaz? There's something we need to talk about. Wait for me in the dining room, okay? Okie dokie. So where's what's her face? It's just the one left. Ah, yes, of course. Get on over to the dining room. Ayako? Okay. Are you lying, perhaps? Hmm. Like, what's the story here? It's the bag. It's in the bag. Hmm. Right, kids. Dining room time. Are we, are we not ready? Are we, is everyone here? Who's missing? Where's she gone? There you are. Uh, where have you been, Uncle Cass? We're supposed to be getting dinner ready. Looks like dinner's gonna have to wait. Mm. Huh? Why? Ayako's money has gone missing. Huh? You think someone stole it? Sounds like it. One day it was in a wallet, the next it was gone. That's awful. Anyway, we're gonna meet in the dining room. I want you there too. Mm. Alright. Well, that's everyone. Time to find out what happened. Right, who stole the money? And that's pretty much all we know. Ayako's really worried, and rightfully so. When he's got taken right out of a wallet, after all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do. But if one of you stole the money, I need you to speak up. Oh dear. Ayako, when did you first notice it was gone? Um, I think it was two days ago. Alright. And did any of you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or anything? Uh, I think I saw something. Rainy was sticking around in Ayako's bag. <gasps> dun dun dun. Riona? Ayako-chan said I could borrow her paints. I was getting it out of her bag. You don't think I stole the money, do you, Uncle Cass? Of course not. Unless you did, then I do. Now I think about it, didn't Mitsuo just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one, too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Dun dun dun! Well, Mitsuo, how did you get the money for something like that? What? <laughs> what? I saved it for weeks, that's how. Didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Cass. I even stopped buying snacks so I could save up quicker. Oh, good lad, good lad. All the dots. Besides, don't they say the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? What was that? You heard me. Stop it, you two. <laughs> Uncle Kaz, what do we do? Well, as chairman of this clan... Alright, we're done here. This was clearly a mistake. Nope, I think we know who did it. All the darts from everyone. But somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not going to keep sitting here flinging accusations at each other. That's not what being a family is about. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. That's the key thing. Don't tell the others. That's how you get the child to come forward and be like, Okay, I took it, here you go. <laughs> the one thing that accomplished was making everyone doubt each other. Although, 
We'd be missing a lot more than a Yarkas money if the thief had come from outside. So as much as I hate to admit it, one of the kids must have stolen it. Guess the only option now is looking through their things. Well, if I knew where their things were, I'd be able to figure out which one it was very quickly. So I think I think it was the one on the end, I can't remember her name. Like with her head down. Uh-huh. Well, well, well. What are you doing in here, Eri? Um, nothing. That's Yaka's bag, right? You know you can't dig around in there without her permission. All the dots. Come on, just tell me what you were doing. Or is there a reason you don't want to say? You're wrong. I didn't do it. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Uncle Cass, what's wrong with Eddie? I found her looking through your bag. She did it. Betrayer. Huh? Is something else missing? No, nope, the money's back. Not her. Actually, the money's back in my wallet. What? Eri. Let's go have a word of it. Like, why did you take the money? What was the plan? I imagine she's like, I wanted to buy you a present. You know, something really sweet or something like, oh dear. Alright, Eri. It's time you told me what's going on. I'm sorry, Uncle Kaz. I'm really, really sorry. So it was you. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I didn't have any money. Then why did you promise? Never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do. You have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was going to give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear. But, I'm sorry, Uncle Cass. I'm glad you were planning to pay her back, but you can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing. Mm. I know. But you gave the money back. And now you've confessed, too. That's really brave of you. The next step now is apologizing to Yaka. Think you could do that for me, Eri? But I made everyone so mad. Nobody's going to forgive me. Especially not a Yaka. Ah, she will. Betrayer! Cast her out! Erita. Aww. So, you killed us. Ayako-chan, I. 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 なんで、なんでアヤコちゃんが謝るの本当はね、私、エリちゃんがお金持っていくところ見ちゃってたんだ。でもね、私、私、その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかった。あ、when私、あの場で言うべきだった。後悔してるんだ。私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに。勇気がなかった。私にもっと勇気があれば、こんな大きなことにならなかったのに。だから、ごめん。私も。You, you've done well here, Kiryu, raising these kids. Well done. These are good kids. Come on, you two. Let's get back inside. Hmm? What's wrong? Everyone's so angry. wonder what they're gonna do when they found out Eri took the money. I mean, 
Koji and Riona are already fighting. What do we do, Uncle Cass? Hmm. Everyone's gonna hate me. Nobody's gonna hate anyone. I'll tell you what, leave the talking to me. What I need you two to do is... What? What are you gonna do? What? Got it? Wait, why don't you leave us out of the loop? You can't do that. I'm so sorry, Uncle Kaz. Come on. Let's get everyone in the dining room. Okay, I'll go round them up. Me too. Alright, let's go see what this plan is then. It's gotta be something to do with the movie, surely. Everyone's there waiting. Listen up. We got Ayako's money back. Uh. Really? Then you know who the thief is. Not so fast. I actually have to apologize to all of you. Uh. Why? Well, Eri came to me yesterday saying she found some money. But I guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously, Eri. Where'd you find it? I'm in the yard. And how much was it? 1,000 yen. Which is exactly how much you were missing, right, Ayako? Yeah. Meaning there's a good chance the money Eri found yesterday is the same money that went missing from Ayako's bag. There's no other possibility, don't you guys think? Uh, I guess. Mm. Sounds about right to me. So then nobody stole the money? Why was I getting blamed for it? I'm sorry, Mitsuo. All of this could have been avoided if I'd just remembered sooner. It's like Kiryu taking the blame on himself again. Ah, uh, Kiryu. Everyone, I'm really sorry. Sorry's not good enough. Ah. Yeah, I got caught a thief. Yeah, me too. Hold on, guys. Wait, I'm the one who dropped the money. So if you're gonna get mad at anyone, get mad at me. I, I should have said something sooner, too. I'm really sorry, everyone. See? Uncle Kaz was just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad none of us turned out to be thieves. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Rihanna. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for suspecting you, Mitsuo. Oh. Eh, whatever. I probably deserved it for how I treated Koji. Hey, it's all in the past now. You did it. I'm just glad I got my money back. And now I'm realizing I'm starving. When's dinner, Uncle Cass? I want to eat too. Me three. You know, I forgot about dinner. Oh yeah, we totally forgot about dinner. Right. Let's get moving. And make it snappy, Uncle Cass. Huh. Try not to eat the table while we're gone. Actually, uh, why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when it's ready. Okay. Oh, he's doing such a good job. Well, guess we better get started. Mm. Right. It's nice to see he's moved on with his life. Before he gets dragged back in once again. It's just how it's gonna be. What's, what's happening with dinner then? Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz. What's wrong, Taichi? It's that guy with the curly hair. I just saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in that blue truck, probably spying on us again. It's definitely him. Alright. like how this kid's got, like, a, um, mark on his arm where he's got sort of, like, like different skin tone because his, his sleeve should be further down. It's like, yeah, that happens. Like, I don't want to say he's sunburnt. It's like he's got a tan part way up his arm. But yeah, no, make sure everyone gets inside. Okay. I'm gonna go l take a look outside. Think you can handle dinner while I'm gone, Haruka? Of course. Be careful, Uncle Cass. I'll be fine, don't worry. But if I'm not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. Okay. Alright, let's go, Dick. Right, where is he? Where, where is he? But we're checking outside for this guy. Where is he? That, that, that's the kids. There's, there's another worm over there. 
So where, where? Beautiful family here, I should go outside and see what's up. I am outside and seeing what's up. I don't see him, but I can't head downtown just yet. Not before I find these Ryodo guys. I guess they've got to be around somewhere then, so where are they? No, they're not down there. Somewhere on the beach? Huh? I don't see him anywhere. Maybe Taichi was wrong? What's he doing back at the place? Turned around, it's on fire, but like, oh cripes. Where'd the kids go? Where'd the kids go? Hey, yeah. Uh また、お前か。俺の答えは変わってねえぞ。いや。今日はそういうんじゃねえんです。うん。じゃあ何の用だ。今日今日は兄貴にどうしても頼みたいことがあって。Oh, alright then. What kind of favor are we talking? It's got to do with the little lady. You mean the girl with the sketchbook? Uh. That's right. Two nights ago, she just... disappeared. Nobody knows where she could have gone. You think she ran away? Dunno. They got men searching the streets and all, but they haven't found so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? Well, not exactly. Why not? You should file a missing persons report. Yeah. I don't know that we really can. What do you mean? Well, the truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. Now the boss is taking care of the girl, yeah, but never officially adopted her. The cops found out about that. They'd ship her back to her parents, no questions asked. And we don't want that. Eh. Uh. Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth, let me tell you. Her dad gambled all their money away and then some. And would come back home stinking of booze and beat the daylights out of the girl and her mum. Her mum, on the other hand, was always sleeping around. Acting like she didn't want a damn thing to do with her. So then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep. Three years back we got asked to collect on her dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their house, but when he walked inside, what happened? He found the guy dead, hanging blue face from a rope in their living room. Jeepers! Saki-san still clutching his lifeless leg. Oh, God! And her mum? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. Lady never gave a single shit about Saki-san. Which is why Nakahara took her in. Yep. And the boss looks scary, sure, but he's got a good heart. Just wasn't in him to leave Saki-san like that. And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble it was raising a kid. It wasn't long till he ended up a proud father. Now he treats Saki-chan like she's his own flesh and blood, like, whoa. That's amazing. Yep, but word is it, her mum's back in town. She wants to take Saki-san back. Why now? After all this time? Beats me. Probably so she can have a maid do all the housework while she goes out and parties. Anyway, the boss has been trying to keep that little lady in the office so her mum wouldn't be able to find her. Which is why she was there when I stopped by. Yep. And now that she's missing, the boss is real worried. Saki's not a child anymore, though. Can she just... Call him if she needed to? Call him? Not a chance in hell. Why not? Girl's mute. Ah. Psychological or... I mean, based on like her past, probably psychological, but you never know. What? The doctor said it's some kind of mental block. Yeah, probably from watching her dad hang herself right in front of her. Yeah, it's gonna affect someone quite badly. So you see, she can't call us. And that's why she has the sketchbook. Come on, Anarchy. We gotta find her as soon as possible. Please. So that's why she's so good at drawing. で、俺に何をしろと。今、親父は荒れちまって手がつけられねえ状態です。だから兄貴に出張ってもらって、とりあえず親父を落ち着かせてほしいんです。なんで俺なんだ。先日の一件から
親父は兄貴に一目置いてるみてえですだからここは兄貴しか収められねえとちょっと待てはいさっきから聞いていると俺のことを兄貴兄貴って何言ってるんだだって兄貴は兄貴じゃないですかお前は流動一家の若頭だろう俺はお前の兄貴分でも何でもないまあその話はいいとしてよくないお前みたいなやつに兄貴と呼ばれたらうちの子供たちに悪影響だろうが別にいいじゃないですか俺は兄貴の強さと男気に惚れたんです俺にとって兄貴は兄貴なんですじゃあシモン車を回してきますんでお願いします兄貴We're gonna have to walk from here, Anarchy. I don't remember agreeing to this. Well, I've come this far. Might as well see it through. Let's get moving, Anarchy. Alright, alright. So I head straight there. I'm liking this area much more compared to Camarocho, to be honest. In this game. Just because of the simple fact that. There's not that many people walking into me. All right, thug. All right, we're all in pretty bad moods, you know. Mind if we take it out on you? How's that look for? Maybe we should just try to kill you instead. Take this. This guy's quite a big guy, isn't he? Like tall and wide. Ooh, punch right through him. We're sorry. It it's nothing personal. Um here, yeah, sorry. You got a salty shard of tempered glass. Thanks? Why would I want that? That's... Thanks a lot, I guess. Ugh. Salty shard of tempered glass. Something. Ah, Kashira, Kiryu no Anki. Oya ja, oku desu. Saki wade amori no de abarete ita tokosu. I think that's one thing I'm not liking about this game, like the amount of scenes that are just like a little bit of voice acting, then it's boom, right into reading. What do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about your little land problem. Rikia told me what's going on with Saki. Uh, that's Rikia for you. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. This ain't your problem, Kiryu-san. Why don't you go look for her? Can't. Wouldn't be so miserable if it was that easy. What do you mean? She ran away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I'd just scare her off if I went hunting her for her now. You don't know that for sure. Why don't you try to figure out why she really ran away? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. Ricky had told me Saki's mum has been out looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. 
Either she wants to be with her mum or she doesn't want to be with me. God damn it. Am I really worse than that miserable whore? Nakahara. Guess a Yakuza like me doesn't have any business taking the kid in the first place, huh? That's not true. All children need is someone who really truly cares about them. Doesn't matter what you do for a living. The hell do you know? You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough. I was an orphan myself. Huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father than I have ever had. He might have been a Yakuza, yeah, but I loved him all the same. And I'm sure Saki loves you, too. But it's natural for her to miss her mum. She's still just a kid, after all. You really think? Of course. Now get out of there. And find her before someone else does. But... All the dots. I can't. Why not? Look at me, Kiryu-san. Why would Saki ever want to come back to this mess after seeing him, her mother? Look like me could never compare to an actual parent. I'm just gonna have to face the facts. Saki's gone. You really think so? Yeah, I do. わかった。ああ。俺がさっきから話を聞いてやる。え、なんでお前さんが俺もな、あんたと一緒で。目の前に困っている別に先を連れ戻したところで土地の話を持ち出す気はねえよ。それとこれとは話は別だ。今は先のことだけを考えようじゃねえか。お前。あんたんとこの若いの借りるぜ。行くぞ、ビギア。はい、ありき。Find Saki. Thanks for talking to him, Anaki. But if it were really gonna, if we're really gonna look for Saki, I don't have the slimmest idea where to start. Then we'll just have to ask around. We can focus on the area right around the office for now. But we already combed every last nook and cranny. Nobody's seen her. And you don't know where her mum lives. Uh. Nope, sorry to say. Is there anywhere you haven't looked? Nowhere she'd be likely to turn up. Only stone... Controller vibrated. Only stone left unturned is Hatsumachi. Hatsumachi? Why haven't you checked there? This is the biggest red light district on the island. Chock full of hostess clubs, brothels, all sorts of smut. A kid's not gonna go anywhere near. Besides, it's exactly where she is then. What? It's Tamashiro family turf. Things would get really hairy real fast if we showed our faces over there. I don't have that problem though. Off I go. Then it's settled. We're going to Hatsumachi. But Anaki, I just told you. That's a match is the only place you haven't looked. I don't care whose turf it is. We're going. Well, you're welcome to stay behind if you think the Tamashiro are really that scary. Like hell, that's gonna happen. I'm coming, Anarchy. Good. Now let's go. Alright. So what's the tea here? Is it tea? Is it you? Oh, you're the taxi! This is, look at the taxi! Minimum fare is 350 yen. Where do you want to go? Um, further down the street, apparently. Alright, then. It's cheaper, at least. Look at the little cute taxi. How do I cross the road? Jabus. Almost died. Where's... The mono I don't actually know where things are. It's the only issue. <laughs> that is the only issue. It's like, hold on, where am I? That oh, I can upgrade ability. I forgot completely about upgrading. Um, I'm gonna go body. Eat. 
Level up, though. Good. Oh. Why oh, does it not take it unless I get the whole thing? That's cool. I like that. Right, we'll leave that be for now. Um, I wanted the map, though. Yeah, I know. Um, I need that one up there. I need to go back across the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love these little taxi things. I didn't realize that was that thing. It's so cute. Whoa. Oh, it's a thug. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only annoying thing. There's, I say the only. There's a few little things in this where I'm like, hmm, I prefer how they do things now. At least you have a chance to run away. Whereas this, you don't really, do you? Stay down. Whoa, not you. Stay down, I said. Whoa. <laughs> Worth trying. So much blood all over the place. Oh, his neck is broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the, give me the thing. Super resilient resin? What? Enrique. Oh, I got it too. Something terrible's happened. All right, all right. Calm down and tell me what's going on. It's Sakicha. <gasps> what about her? I, I saw her in Atsumachi with some woman I've never seen before. Something felt real off about the whole thing. And you're sure it was her? Oh, well, if it isn't that dashing young fella from before, this must be fate. Come on, we don't got time for your hopeless flirting. Let's try and focus. Where did you see Saki? Coming out of that convenience store over at the intersection. With some woman who absolutely dressed in the nines. Wonder who she was. Maybe Saki's mother? Then, you really think she went back? Hard to say. The only way to know for sure is to find her and ask. I guess. By the way, Ricky, you're gonna have a party tonight. A party? Ah, oh, shit. It's the boss's birthday. I've been so distracted, it's totally slipped my mind. He's not gonna be in any mood for celebration if we can't find Saki, though. And we're not doing ourselves any favors by standing around. Come on, let's go. Right. Gotta bring her back, even if it's just for today. Let's move, Anarchy. We need fancy tunes for lights elsewhere. Where am I going anyway? Because there's a purple thing up there. So. Don't mind me, guys. It's like a proper taxi, though. Can I unlock, like, some more more of those, um, pedal taxis by coming around here? Are you just a random guy again? Oh, uh, I, I much prefer how it is in Kiwami, etc. Uh, yeah, 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 name of the game. Got it, mate, got it, mate. That's very strange how this fight started, though. Whoa. All right. Just squished his head. Severe brain damage. Alright, what you gotta give me? What you gotta give me? Ah, uh, 1,000 yen. It'll do. Anyway, as we were doing... Anakay! You there. In the... Kitschy set? Kitschy set? Shed? Hmm? Oh, shit. Who are you? Me? Who the fuck are you? Don't tell me you didn't know you're... Waddling all over Tamashiro family territory right now. Tamashiro, sorry, never heard of him. Usually try to keep my nose out of yak as a business. Bullshit, it's clear as the damn Okinawa sky what you do for a living. I'm telling the truth, and even if I was a Yakuza, I'm not here looking for trouble. I suggest you leave us alone, or else. Wait, is that Rikia back there? Your little game of hide and seek's not gonna work on me, Ryoto asshole. Shit. I knew it. 
Not Yakuza, my ass. If you weren't Yakuza, you wouldn't be spending your time with this Ryoto sap. You here to try and take that brat back? Hmm? What brat? I don't got time for 20 questions, bitch. I mean, you just kind of gave away a lot of information without us even asking. Come on, boys, let's show them what we do to trespassers. Oh. A lot of screaming going on. <laughs> That's the thing, they're gonna have different animations and stuff, so I really do need to play around with, like, grabbing things. Shit, this guy really eats his spinach, huh? Popeye me, mate. So, are you ready to talk now? Tell me about this brat you mentioned. Uh, you listening, punk? Open your mouth or I'll open it for you. Now, did you kidnap Saki or not, huh? Look, we didn't take nobody. Some bitch claiming to be the girl's mother brought her in. What could her mum possibly have to do with the Tamashiro? Uh, the tramp's sleeping with the boss. Or he doesn't realise she's just another notch on the bedpost for him. In other words, you have no reason to keep Saki. Give her back. Look, we don't have her in a cage or nothing. She and her mum could be anywhere. Hmm? I think there's more to this than you're letting on. Maybe we should go pay your boss a visit. Rikia, where's the Tamashiro office? Are you out of your mind, Anarchy? You can't go in there, just the two of us. Hm. You boys right. They're gonna tear you limb from limb in there. I'd like to see them try. If you really want to die, I'll tell you. It's on the street behind the convenience store. You heard the man, Rikia. Come on. But... But Anarchy. Let's go get arms ripped off. Apparently. That's how it's gonna work. No, 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 no. I die, yeah, 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 yeah. There's no way to escape these guys, is there? It's like, ah, oh, random fight, fine. Come on, grab him. No, turn around and grab him. There we go. Ooh, right in the ribs. Good job he doesn't have any spare ribs, I'd have destroyed them. Holy shit, you're strong. Yeah, I know. Right. Proper 3,000 yen. Looks like this is the place. I mean, yeah. But we're not really gonna walk in there by ourselves, are we? The pulverizers. What, you scared? Me? I'm not scared of a damn thing. Put my life on the line if you ask me to, Anarchy. Really? Wait, that's... Saki's sketchbook. This drawing is... Something wrong, Anarchy? We're definitely on the right track, Rikia. Saki has to be here. I knew it. I want you to go get Nakahara and tell him we found her and bring him back to with you. Um, okay. What about you, Anarchy? Just go. I'll keep an eye on things here. Please. Okay. Be back in a jiff. Alright, let's see about this then. Well, time to head in. Oof. Oh, I'm sorry. Another one of Tamashiro's grunts, huh? Do I need to teach you a lesson too? Wait, uh, please. Just look at me. Do I seem like a Yakuza to you? Possibly. You have a point. But you do look familiar. Anyway, if you're not with the Tamashiro, what are you doing walking into their office? Well, I have a, uh, deal to make with them. You know how it is. I mean, you're obviously Yakuza. Not anymore, I'm not. I'm just here to take care of some business. Oh. Well, I'm Kamiyama. What's your name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san? Why does it feel like I know that name? Uh-huh. Anyway, I deal in certain choice items. They've been in high demand lately, if I do say so myself. It sounds like the Tamashiro are going to war soon, so they asked me to bring some of my stuff over. 
And let me guess, by your stuff, you mean weapons. You don't have to scream. What? The whole town's gonna hear. But if you're gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Tamashiro, you might be able to lend a hand if you catch me drift. Thought they were all one of your customers. Well, yeah, but they're one of the customers you wish you could get rid of, but can't because they pay your rent. If you started buying from me and wiped them out, I could finally be free from their clutches. Hold on a second, I never said a word about wiping anyone out. No need to be coy about it. I've been in this business for a long time. Ripped guys like you are the brawling type. It's obvious. You've probably been in more fights than I can count. Hmm. Either way, wouldn't you rather have a weapon on you when you bust in there? Better than going in empty handed. I guess. And it's settled. I know the perfect store that can... And get you just the fix you need. It's a van. That's it there. Not much for appearances. Don't worry about that. Just come with me. I'm alright. Whoa, okay, maybe, you know. This is the only shop in the town that sells this kind of underhanded stuff you're looking for. This guy here is an associate of mine. It's, uh, hmm. Quite a setup, yeah, yeah. Hey, don't knock mobility. Anything that can help you get away from the fuzz is a positive in my book. Right. I take it this is your store, then? Oh, uh, heavens no. This one's all handed by my pal here. My own shop is up on the second floor of a building, near the Ryodo office. That's where I sell gear and mod stuff, too. Near the Ryodo office, huh? <laughs> wait, wait. Wish I could give you everything you need to crush the Tamashiro, but remember, it, I'm running a business here. Let me see. Here, this should get your engine started. You got an extendable staff. Yeah, yeah, I know weapons work. Yeah. This should come in handy. Thanks, Kamiyama. <laughs> oh, it's no problem at all. That's one of our most popular items. Ah, and remember that weapon will break as soon as you use them. If that ever happens, just bring it up to my shop and I'll fix it up for you in no time flat. I don't expect me to work for free. Free or not, that's a pretty good deal. By the way, you guys have a lot of weapons I've never seen before. It's incredible. So, so this. <laughs> have our wares caught your eye? I know a guy who can teach you how to use them if you want. A weapons expert, huh? Yes, yes. I'll mention you to him. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to have a student as beefy as you. Oh, and just holler if you need anything else. I'll help you as much as I humanly can. After all, the Tamashiro will come for my legs, maybe more if you fail. Let's hope I don't fail, then. Yeah. Feel free to stop by the shop when you have the time. I will. Thanks, Kamiyama. It's very much like, what have you got in here? Right, what you got, what you got? What are you buying, stranger? Yeah, what, what's for sale, what's for sale? Hmm... No traffic wand. That's my main issue here. I'm gonna get a stun gun. Apparently. Yes. I didn't say I was done. I just wanted to buy that one item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I was thinking some of the armor maybe, but it's like, no. Not from the looks of it. Come again. Could buy some golf clubs. Get a new set, go some golfing again. Alright, so items. That really take off some of my health. <laughs> shard of timber, the shard of timber glass is actually bulletproof. Too small to block bullets now. Okay. Stuff has a lot of bounce to it. It's like, okay. I believe I lost a bit of health by eating the worm. It's only a worm. あ、誰だお前。リュードイッカのやつか。さっきはどこだ。あの<笑> 
死んじゃうけどね<笑>ザコに用はねえ通らせてもらうぜ大した自信だな遠慮はいらねえぶっ殺してやれや Alright lads, let's go then. I'm Kiryu, nice to meet you. I've got some weapons I want to experiment with. I see you coming for me. You get what you deserve, mate. Smash them. Items locking your path will flash white when they indicate they can be broken. Right up. Yeah, through them by smashing them with your fists. Got it. On my feet. You know, one of the two. Um, can I not pocket it? Oh, it's a shame. Or if I can, it's not just a simple down button. You mind? Really? Oh, what? Yep, diddly 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 diddly. Huh. I just noticed my. He goes down. Are you gonna get up so I can hit you? Thank you. Die like a die. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Didn't need your skull anyway. Right, let's stay down. Oh, apparently there's a lost kitty. Either that or a kitty's for sale. One of the two. You got a gun? Oh, hello. Get what you deserve, mate. Oh. I thought you were carrying in fear, mate. You should have been. I was distracted by the green and purple pins over here. They're quite large, they're quite large. Where am I going? What, 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 what? what? Ooh, I think I sliced and diced a bit too much there. Trying to use the map to my advantage here. Lovely. What about the other one? Thank you. Oh my. 
Let's grab you. All right, all right, then we'll grab you then. Fine. And we'll grab you. Crushed it. Crushed it, mate. God, how did you grab his leg? Bosh. That blood coming up from underneath his shirt. Not that way? Okay. I'm taking the chair with me. Oh, where'd the chair go? Saki. Ryudo Ikka no Shinri ka. Hitori de tobikon de kuru to wa ii dokyo da. Ore wa Ryudo Ikka janai. Sono ko o torikaishi ni kita da ge da. Ha, nani o gashi na koto itten da. Kono gaki ni yo ga aru no wa Nakahara da ge da ro ga. Diyu wa dou demo ii. To ni kaku sono ko o kaishi te morao se. Fuzaken da! 大事な取引の材料、そう簡単に奪われてたまるか。取引だと。<笑>そんなことも知らねえで来たのか。とんだお人よしだな。<笑>しかし、かわいそうな娘もいたもんだね。父親は目の前で首吊り。母ちゃんは男のために、実の娘まで誘拐しちまうとは。<笑>こりゃ、世も末だ。ちょ、ちょっとあんた、何言ってんのあんた、この前さきと一緒に三人で暮らそうって。<笑>俺が本気で、お前みたいな豊島の女。相手にすると思ったのかお前はもう用済みなんだよおばあさん嘘でしょねえ嘘なんでしょ何言ってんのよ嘘だって言いなさいよ話せ話せこの合わせだあ、look of horror。うまくよけたじゃねえか。さあ、次はお前の番だ。お前をぶっ殺した後。その指全部。中原に届けてやるぜ。気乗りしねえなだと殴る価値がねえやつと喧嘩するのは好きじゃねえ何一人で格好つけてんだだがてめえみてえなやつをのさばらせておくのはもっと好きじゃねえあぁきやがれこのゲロ It's go time Make sure we get a bit of healing. All right, I've got upgrades. Fine, I know. Let's get a bit of healing going on here. Use it. All right, so that's. We got thing, stuff that's just health. Yes, we have. That'll take me to full, but I don't really need it right now. Okay. Hello. Ow. Don't even know where he jabbed him there. It was somewhere at least. Ow. 
It's when they're on the ground that I have an issue. Cause I'm so used to over controls. It's like mm, I want you to. No, I don't want you. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. That kind of thing is going on in my head. Where it's like, no, that's not how you meant to behave. It does in this game. It does. It's an actual picture of a lady there. So we got we can use. Whoa, hold on, hold on, mate. No heat action for the sofa. Feels like a waste to not have any heat action for that. You might try throwing him at the dartboard, mate. Yeah, bullseye. Play simple game in like 501, 701, 301, whatever you want to go with. Well, that's just not on, is it? It's there, it's like, just grab him. Well, I was pressing square as you put that up. That's not on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What we got going on here? Wait, 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 wait. And upgrades. Um, pick that up a little bit. Counter, it's just a bit too weirdly simple. This, I like the more like you need to get money, you need to go eat, so like you know. Well done, Kitty. <laughs> I mean, I mean, get, uh, yeah. <laughs> What you get, mate? What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh. Spam it! 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 Boom! I'm really feeling it. I expected to finish them off, but it just doesn't. It's just weird. But again, that's due to my experiences with previous games. Gotcha. It's the power of family, mate, that. Nandi. Kunna yatsuka. Okinawa ni. Dajo uska aniki. Osho. さき。長原の親さんな。お前がいなくなってすごく心配していたんだ。お前がな、本当の母親のとこに行っちゃったんじゃないかと思って。すごく寂しがっていたんだ。お前は中原と母親どっちと一緒にいたいんだ。何が娘よ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 
この子のせいで人生めちゃくちゃになったのよ生まれた時からいっつも邪魔だったこのアマ王将の前じゃなんてことうるさい私に触らないで<笑>そんなにその子が欲しいんならあんたにくれてやるわクソなんてほよいだ実の子の目の前でこれじゃあ先があんまりにも。先なら大丈夫だ。スケッチブックの中身、見たことないだろう。ああ。見てみろ。もう答えは出ていたんだ。さきはあんたの本当の娘なんだ。そうだろう、さき。さき。さき。ありがとうなありがとうなさきさき今回の一件あんたには本当に世話になったこの中原茂人気ほど40年あんたほどの男見たことがねえやめてくれいやそうはいかねえ俺はあんたとどうしても兄弟の杯を交わしたいと思ってる何失礼します何してるんだお前ら桐生の兄弟頼む俺はあんたに惚れちまった杯を交わしてくれと言ってもな俺はもう極道じゃねえんだそんなことは関係ねえ要は俺があんたに惚れたってことだけだそれで十分勝手な話だな売却人もいねえが我慢してくれ頼む売却人なら俺が引き受けますよダイゴヘロヘロお久しぶりです、キリュウさん。どうしてダイゴがここに例の、沖縄リゾート開発の土地買収の件で。リゾートの土地買収だとええ。実は、今話題になっているリゾート開発に必要な土地の買収。沖縄の登場会参加の組織が中心となって進めていたことなんです。なんだとまさかその登場会参加の組織ってのが、玉城組だってのかそうです玉城組は登場会の下部五次団体にあたる組織ですその玉城組が登場会の本家の許可もなく勝手にリゾート開発の土地買収を進めていたんですどうして玉城組は土地の買収を例のリゾート開発計画の立案者である鈴木大臣が土地の買収を玉城組に依頼したというのがことの発端ですあのリゾートは一定の広さの土地を揃えることができないと動かない計画なんですうんだからあの土地が必要なのかはいリゾートに必要な土地を確保するためにはどうしても現地に詳しい組織に任せる必要がありますからね玉城組は格好の存在だったというわけですその話は分かっただがどうして大悟が沖縄に来る必要があったんだ玉城組の土地買収のやり口は非常に強引なものでした他人から土地の権利書を奪い取るようなことばかりしていましたからね
じゃあうちの先をさらったのも俺の土地の権利所が目的だったのかおそらくそうでしょう玉城は中原さんのお子さんを誘拐し身の代として土地権利所を取引するつもりだったのでしょうくそ玉城の野郎手の込んだ真似しやがって玉城組のような強引な土地買収を続ければいずれ大ごとになるのは明白ですリゾート開発にヤクザが絡んでるなんてスキャンダル世間に知れたらリゾート開発はおろか基地拡大法案まで白紙に戻る可能性がありますそれでタミヤさんは私のところに事態の収集を依頼してきたんですそうなのか世間でささやかれている通り基地拡大法案とリゾート開発計画はワンセットなんですそれはどういうことであの二つは持ちつ持たれつの関係なんですよどちらかが倒れたらうまくいかなくなるリゾート開発がなくなれば基地拡大法案だけが残ってしまい住民感情から法案が通る可能性がなくなりますだからある意味タミヤさんにとってリゾートは自分の基地拡大法案の生命線なんですなるほどそれでタミヤは自分の基地拡大法案にケチがつかないよう大悟に事態の収集を依頼したってわけかええそうです私は今回の仲裁をこちらのトーマくんに頼まれタミヤさんと一緒に沖縄までタミヤ防衛大臣の秘書をさせていただいていますトーマ・ショーヨーと申しますほうその年で大臣先生の秘書さんとは立派なもんだないえいえ私はタミヤ先生のご指示に従っているだけの男ですしかし土地の買収を止めてしまえばどのみちリゾート開発も進まなくなるんじゃないのか結局タミヤの基地拡大法案は通らなくなってしまうだろうその件に関しては地域住民との話を詰めながら進める予定と聞いておりますどうしてそこまでして法案を通したいんだ基地拡大法案を通せばリゾート開発よりも大きな仕事を成し遂げたことになり次期総理へ一気に近づくからですなるほどな登場会としても本来なら下部組織の仕事を奪うようなことはしたくないんですがひとたびスキャンダルになってしまった場合後々警察にマークされてしまう可能性も高いそれだけは何としても避けたいと思い仲裁の役目を引き受けたわけですそういうことだったのかでもまさか桐生さんの施設が買収対象だったとは正直驚きましたよまあしかしこれでどっちにしてもあの土地を手放さなくてよくなったんだからよよかったじゃねえかまあなしかし今回はこういう結末になりましたがこのままというわけにはいきませんいずれリゾート計画は私の手で必ず実現させますどういうことだあんたはタミヤの秘書だろうリゾートよりも基地拡大が重要なんじゃないのか私は沖縄出身ですこの辺境の地はこのままなら必ず廃れていってしまうリゾート開発計画のように直接沖縄に金が落ちる仕組みを作らなければこの島はいつまでたっても発展していかない私はタミヤ大臣の秘書ですが基地よりもむしろリゾートの方が沖縄には必要だと思っていますトーマさんしたっけかあんたはいあんた沖縄の人間なら分かってんだろう別に沖縄の人間がそんなこと望んじゃいねえってことくらいよ俺も最初は沖縄に金が欲しいならいいと思ったけどなやっぱりそうじゃねえ大事なのは俺ら沖縄の人間が愛せるままの沖縄ってことなんじゃねえのか一度東京に行けばわかりますよ
いかに沖縄が日本にとって必要のない小さな島なのかってことが私は何としても沖縄を豊かにしたいそのためなら多少の犠牲は必要だと思っていますその犠牲が俺らの土地ってわけかええ沖縄には海や砂浜は腐るほどあります多少リゾートのために切り取ったところで問題はないはずだ目的のためなら一人二人の犠牲は構わねえんだなんていかにも政治家さんの発想だと思うんだけどねでもよそんな土地に命張って生きてる人間もいるんだぜ。とにかく、今回の一件、これで幕引きとさせてください。失礼しよう、トーマ君。はい。第五。はい。もしまた登場会が。ここの買収に来るようならそん時は一言言ってから来てくれ俺にも守らなきゃならないものがあるからな分かっていますですがご安心ください俺が六代目のうちは沖縄には手出しませんよ本当だなええ俺は嫌ってほどキリュウさんの怖さ知ってます敵に回したら登場会が潰れちまうトーマ君の夢は彼が総理大臣になった時にでもやってもらいましょうなトーマ君その頃はもうキリュウさんもいい年になって今面倒見てる子供さんたちも今の俺くらいの年にはなってますよそれならいいでしょう俺は結構しぶといぜ<笑>そうでしたじゃあ今度はプライベートで4代目ああ、あのよ兄弟うんなんだあんたもしかしてあの登場会の四代目ってわけじゃねえよなそれがどうしたえ嘘だろ四代目っつったらよこっちの人間でも知ってるぜはい確か道島のりってあああああああんたひょっとしてキリュウまあ今度から喧嘩を売るときはちゃんと相手のことを調べてからにするんだな兄弟、はあ、なんかとんでもねえやつと杯き交わしまったぜまあそんなこともあるさはい。